What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Redwood Fisherman. I just picked up Rye. We're heading over to meet our friend Jeff and we are heading way up north to the Red Triangle to do kayak fishing. If you don't know what the Red Triangle is, check this out. There's a unique stretch of California coastline that is very different from anywhere else. This area starts a little north of Bodega Bay, California and extends south about 50 miles west of San Francisco and stops in the Big Sur region. This area is unfortunately infamous for great white shark attacks. An estimated 38% of all great white shark attacks in the United States happen here, giving it the name, the Red Triangle. And the best part about fishing the Red Triangle, the last day of October, it's Halloween. You guys are riding shotgun, let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I just got wrecked by the waves trying to launch my kayak. Fortunately, the cameras were not rolling. That's probably a good thing. I'm with my brother and my good friend Jeff, and we are kayak fishing NorCal. So let's see if we can catch a couple fish. We'll check back in a minute. All right, so I got a new pen Warfare 15 LW reel. I think this reel will be perfect for rock fishing off the kayak. So we're gonna try it, it's brand new. We'll see how it goes. Let's see how fast we can catch a fish. When that wave hit me when I was launching, my croc floated away. <laughs> and I was like, no. It's little. A little gopher. I believe this is a little gopher. Tiny little guy. All right, let's keep trying. All right, buddy, we'll see you later. You know, I apologize for the lens being so wet. But like I said this morning, we're in the red triangle. I'm kayak fishing in over 100 feet of water right now. And am I thinking about a great white shark? Definitely not. Yeah, I want to catch some fish. I'm going to put some scent on. I don't know if the recent massive rainstorm had some impact on water clarity. There's a large river that runs out not far from here, so that could cause a little bit of an issue with visibility. So we'll go to scenting these baits and see if we can get some more. So far, we've just caught a couple small ones. All right, let's go. There's a cliff right here because it just went, it went down another 40 feet. Here's some video of Ryan with a nice blue rockfish he caught. That's cool, right there. Boom. I just got a huge bite, but I think it might have been a snag. I yanked and my fishing pole snapped in two. So this thing is out of commission for the day. Out of commission. What's going on, guys? So we're trying some different setups today. Some bigger setups trying to catch some bigger fish. You didn't see it a minute ago, but I broke my um, my fishing pole, snapped. I don't know if it was a big fish or if it was a uh, snag, but any way you look at it, it <laughs> that's why you bring two poles out here when you go kayak fishing. All right, I'm gonna turn around and uh, we'll check back in when we catch something good because it's a slow day so far. Let's make it a great day. Oh, Jeff, who's with us, just caught a little link cod, which was a good sign. Not a keeper, but you know what? It tells us that we're probably on some good structure here, so we'll keep trying. After breaking my fishing pole in two, I decided that actually it still worked pretty well and I think it would be fine to use. Here's some video of Ryan catching a nice canary rockfish. It was on the smaller side, so he went ahead and let it go.
There's like a slick of just gross stuff in the water. There's a couple of pieces of uh, bull kelp. And then there's these little tiny jellyfish. Hopefully you can see that okay. It's pretty cool. It's a slow day so far, but we're it's gonna get hot any minute. I know it. We had a big rain about 10 days ago. I think that might be impacting the water clarity. I don't know. No excuses, dude. Switch it up, catch some fish. Let's go, let's go, boy. All right, finally, this feels like it's decent. It feels weird with the with the half pull though, you know? That's the problem. It's got a good, there's some head shakes. Let's go, boys. Fish on. Hopefully this is the first keeper. Please be a keeper. Something worth keeping. Oh yeah, there we go. I'll keep that guy. Look. But this one is definitely keeper size. All right, there we go. I think this is a brown rockfish. Okay, there we go. All right, one more shot of him. That's a good size. He's like, he's like 13 or 14. There's a seal, dude. Here's another video of Ryan. He caught a really nice cabazon and then realized that a seal was trying to steal the fish from him. He didn't have a net in his kayak, so he rode over to me where I was, and I used my net to help him land the cabazon. Luckily, the seal didn't take the fish. <sighs> Rye just caught this huge cabazon. All right, let's get the line, the hooks out of the way. Jeff, look at this thing. This cabazon was just short of 20 inches and weighed eight pounds. Inside of its stomach was a large abalone. I'm sure it is. It's the fun. Yeah. Look at this. As I was kayaking along in the ocean, I came across this random log floating. Really? Look at this little thing. It's a bait fish. Little guy. Got a little tiny fishy on. <laughs> That's where having a broken fishing pole, you don't even know you have a fish on. All right, guy. Little guy, go, go grow and come back another day. What a pretty little fish. Look at that guy. Woohoo! Go. Come on, guy, you got it. Come on, you got it. All right, I got a little fish on here. Let's see how we do. With my half a fishing pole that broke, it's still working good though. I'm in about 70 feet of water, so. <laughs> Two little tiny black rock fish. Are you kidding me? That fish bit that bar. That is so funny. Mm -mm. Mm. I might lose that eye. Woo. Okay. Woo. Getting a good workout. Some pretty good swells coming in too. Huge waves. There's Rye right there. Fishing it. Got it. Fish on, looks like. Looks like he's got a nice fish on. All right. I got a fish on right here that feels good. Soon as my pole hit the ground, bam. Oh yeah, check it out. Nice, dude. That's a gopher and that's a good one. Yes. <laughs> Check this guy out. Look at his fins. He's trying to get... Not bad, huh? Not too small. 
This fish just bit me right at the top of the water. I'm gonna throw him back, but awesome. Nice little blue rockfish. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Once in a lifetime catch. Jeff has just caught a beautiful link cod and I catch a starfish. Woohoo! Let's go. All right, we'll get that guy. That was a nice little drift we had. Jeff got a nice link cod and a uh, kelp grainling. Rye got a nice cabby. I know I was onto something good that came off. I got another rockfish, so it's all good. There's definitely a storm coming in, look. Ooh, kayak fishing NorCal, baby. Let's go. Are you kidding me? All right, I got a, I got a huge fish on right here. I got a big fish on right here. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Woo! Okay, hold on, camera. You got <laughs> Woo! Okay, look at these fish. For reference, these are that one is having maybe looks really pregnant. Let's go, boys. We're back in this thing. Yeah, I don't think this is a blackie. I think this is like a blue. Man, look at that beautiful fish. Holy crap. Here's the nice double. Nice freaking double. That was awesome, dude. That was awesome. What a great double. They're really light colored. Was it a blue rockfish that was a really lighter version? All right, that was an awesome double. What a great catch. Okay, I got those guys dispatched and in the bag. And uh, let's go catch some more, man. We are having fun. I got three keepers. These guys are still working on, I think they're catching some smaller ones, but they'll get some. They'll get some, you just gotta keep working. I put a bar on. I'll show you. <clears throat> Wanted to switch it up and go for a link hot, so I put this bar on. There's like this slick of just disgusting, it's like whale sperm. I don't know what it is. It's just disgusting, but it's organic. You can see it right here, look. What is that? I think I might have two. Yeah, it's showing some fish down there. Oh, I got a fish on. Oh, this feels good, actually. Oh, no. No. What's happening? I just had a big fish on. Come on. I'm 99% sure this was the big link cod that bit my swim bait and then somehow came off. So what I did was I dropped right back down immediately in the same spot and hooked Dude, up. Dude, I just lost a nice fish. All right, the camera was not rolling, but I got a huge ling. Woo! Yes, baby. A blue ling. I don't know if he's a keeper, but he looks pretty close. He was playing with my uh, jig here, my swim bait, and uh, man, is he blue. What a beautiful fish. Oh, he's a keeper easily, huh? Good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sure. Jeff did a nice whack job on him. Beautiful fish, dude. Let's freaking go. Hey, Ryan, will you do me a favor? Let's freaking go, baby. Woo! Nice big blue link cod, 26 incher. Let's freaking go, dog. And he bit the bright orange little jig swim bait. So, uh, yeah, I'll call that a victory. Let's go, man. Woo! Yeah. Yes, I'm pumped up right now. That was a nice big very very blue link cod and uh we measured it as about 26 i'll do another measure later just to show you guys and uh, let's go try to catch one more and then we'll get out of here yeah let's go let's go that was amazing what a great day we had we're heading in now the weather's getting bad it's halloween 2021 we caught a couple very spooky halloween fish Couple big link cod, a big cabazon, and various other rockfish species. What a great day we had. Albeit the weather was not great, it was still manageable. So we had a massive northerly 
tide pulling us that direction all day long. Um, and it, well, it started pretty slow with the tide and then picked up really quickly and pulled us way north. Some of the exciting things that happened today, but not good news is I broke a fishing pole and then used that fishing pole to catch a huge lingcod <laughs> and a bunch of other fish. I have another pole I brought with me, but it's just too light for these big fish. I didn't want to break two poles today. So note to self, it's time to get another better um, kayak level rockfish fishing pole. So unfortunately I can't get the drone up today because of the weather and I'm on the kayak. If it was glass, I would definitely do it, but not today. Um, tried all kinds of different baits, had a blast. What we're gonna do next is head into the shore, pack up the truck, head back home, and we're gonna do a catch and cook. So we'll see you guys back at the house in one second. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the one. Woo! Ouch, ouch. My legs don't work. My leggies don't work. That's the one. Ooh. All right. I made it, I almost messed up. Made it in okay. Kayak is a disaster, but I made it. Here comes Rai Rai, coming in next. Jump out quick, here comes another wave. Jeff had a great day today. Look at these two monsters. That's incredible. Good job, dude. Nice catch. Now you're gonna be famous on the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on guys? We're back at the house. It's the next day after Halloween and I'm gonna fillet up all those fish. What I did to keep those fish fresh overnight was I put them in my Yeti cooler and I packed it full of ice. This is what it looks like here. This is the next day. And uh, you can tell that these fish are good to go. They're frozen, they're real cold and they are definitely ready to be filleted. Just as a quick tip as well, there's no one correct way to fillet a fish. There's many different ways to do it. Nobody's exactly right. And it's really uh, based on your personal preference or how comfortable you are filleting with your specific technique. I like to try a couple different techniques and I'm always constantly learning and practicing. It's uh, by no means, I'm by no means an expert at filleting fish, but I love to learn new ways to do it. Uh, more effective ways where you get less bones out of the out of the fillet and things like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump over here and get filleting. It's a rainy, blustery November first day. Nothing I can do about the weather. We're here in the backyard of my house with the boys, and we're gonna fillet up some fish. Let's get to it right now. From the he doesn't have any fits on his cabins on. And you know how you can tell. Oh. Look at that stomach. His teeth. Look at his. Her teeth. Alright, first thing we're going to do is um, get a weight on him and a measurement. So it's right here to the tail, so roughly 19, um, almost 20 inches. Hold it down on that tail so you can see close. Look at the measure tape so you can see it. 19 inches, a little over 19. Almost eight pound cabazon. Look at this sucker. Huge. Oh, this. That, oh, it's a. Dude, it's a freaking abalone. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a huge piece of abalone. It is. I think. Let's see. That oh. is a huge piece of abalone. Oh my Can God. Can you eat that? Oh my, oh my God. God. Should I send a picture to mom? Yeah. So this big cabazon had a massive abalone inside of it. Look at this thing. Wow, huge abalone. That is cool. There you 
Are you getting some cool shots? It's huge, dude. 28 inch blue link card. Watch out, let me get this. <clears throat> How much? Over eight pound. Nine? Nine. No, he's eight. Nine. That Cabazon was the same weight. Told you. This is a big fish. Look at that. Looks like a snake, huh? Oh, we are. All right, let's, uh, where do we want to start? Here? Yeah, buddy. Right here, dude. Yeah, totally. Get little pieces of blue. Right? Yeah. Oh. Let's see. Let's like get a get a picture of that <laughs> from like up top, like right here. Oh, you're doing that way. Okay, hold Why? On. I just need you. Come on. It's a blow blow. It's mm. Hold on, Max. I can't get out of this uh, water. Okay, hold on. Really, dude? Okay, look at this. Look at that piece of me. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. After your nice slings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that way of cutting it through the middle. Mm -hmm. Smart. <laughs> the meat is blue. Mm -hmm. I've never seen. You should. Do, do we have like a big picture of the fish, like of all sides? Mm -mm. There's 28% on this. Okay, we'll go fast. Okay. That's good. That's a wrap on the filet job. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more. I'm Ty Reichert, the Redwood Fisherman, and we're out of here. Uh, we would appreciate it. If you do like this video, hit that subscribe button right here uh, or here, and that way you can stay in tune and follow our channel. Uh, it's free to subscribe. And basically what it's saying is, is that you will get updated when You'll get notified when a new video is posted so you can see our latest videos. Okay, right on. I'm Ty Reigert. I'm out. But yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Where are my glasses? I don't know. Maybe in the truck. I guess.